Rachel Reeves' commitment today to revitalizing the nation's crumbling classrooms comes uh, in the middle of growing concerns about the deteriorating state of educational facilities across the UK and following stark reports of unsafe conditions, she's earmarked £1.4 billion to rebuild about five, uh, 50 schools annually ensuring that children no longer endure classrooms that leak, crumble or close because of infrastructure failings. And the initiative promises an essential remedy for years of neglect as only 23 schools out of 500 in the school's rebuilding programme have been fully refurbished since its launch in 2020. This is unbelievably shoddy, isn't it? That uh, uh, in, a, in, in a country where education is seen as as a positive part in our society, we are still expecting children to suffer in schools that are um, that, 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 ha that have classrooms that are below standard. And it, it's not it's not even about having uh, special um, computers or screens or whatever. It's about it's, it's about water damage. It's about leaking. It's about unsafe areas. Significantly, this funding is enabled by Labour's redefinition of the fiscal rules, allowing for increased borrowing strictly for capital projects. And this fiscal shift, coupled with Labour's pledges for broader educational support, such as the £1.8 billion for nursery care and tripled investment in breakfast clubs, underlines Reeves' commitment to fortifying the UK's educational foundations. But I think, without changing the way we deliver education in the UK. This isn't going to drastically um, alter the, the the fundamental problems of the education of our nation. The policy shift highlights the stark contrast with the previous government's approaches, uh, accused by Reeves of leaving the 22 million or 40 million billion black hole in public finances. However, experts warn that despite the budgetary increase, these funds will not um, sustain the current initiatives enough. Uh, they, they, they may yield some, but not sweeping improvements. Nonetheless, Reeve's strategy reflects a dedication to address the long-standing deficit in educational infrastructure, bringing Labour's vision of prioritising children's learning environments and the quality of education into sharper focus.